Oh wait, you guys are frosty this morning. I drove something up here. Been hiding it from you. Got a surprise for you. It's all right here. Hey Jackie. Good morning, Jackie. It's an early morning. It's frosty. Good morning, guys. I know you can't see me right now. Kind of hard to see. Oh, can you see my face? Hard to film in the dark. Oh, Jackie. That's just a bison. It's uh, 2.50 a.m. I'm going to come out here and put a bale of hay out real quick. And uh, I'm headed to Kansas. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'll start the skid steer up real quick. Putting out a bale of hay so my wife don't have to. I don't want to make her go through the hassle of a skid steer and putting out a bale of hay real quick so we're gonna hop in here and start this up i really want to thank hydra bed for making all this possible thank you for sponsoring today's video Ooh, she's chilly talking to me this morning like, what are you doing up so early? Big Joe! Nobody can see. Oh, there he is. I know you guys are probably thinking, man, it looks daylight out here. Well, it is a full moon out here. It is so bright. Look, there you can see them all in the dark. That is so funny. Big Joe, he already came up here to see me what's going on all right guys good morning it's a very very early morning and you're probably wondering what am i doing up so early why are you at the ranch at 3 a.m well i'm driving to kansas and uh we're making uh driving all the way up there because well got something big happening and it's just me and my truck i'll just tell you that when we get to kansas i'll show you where i'm at what i'm doing up there but i'm uh, just going up there for a uh, overnight trip. I got to be there all day today, and I'm talking northeastern Kansas, like on the border of my wife's uh, home state of Nebraska, very close to the border there. Um, so we've got a long ways to go. We got six and a half hours, and uh, I need to be there by 10 a.m. So I got to roll out a bale of hay real quick so my wife doesn't have to, and keep these guys content for a couple of days. But I'll be back uh, Tuesday. So. I'm going to go ahead and roll this out real quick in the dark. It's not the best, but this gets here has awesome lights on it. Big Joe. Hey, buddy. Yep, see, I can't see in the dark when I zoom out all the way. I zoom in, I can see you. 54, jumper, I see you, of course. Oh, wait, you guys are frosty this morning. Good Joe, he didn't waste time. It's nice and frosty like that. Makes for an easy cut. Hello, 32. Uh, I'm in the cockpit. Turn this heater on. Woo! Roll it out now. It's going to be hard for me to film and do that, so... I'm 
using my pallet forks. They were already on here, so just using them. Alright, got it rolled out pretty good. Well, just to tell you, kind of coincidence I'm doing this this morning, but we're going to be rolling out hay a lot different from now on. <laughs> we'll still be using this, but kind of uh, funny I'm doing this this morning. So, if that tells you anything, <laughs> I'm excited. We're all excited. I'll go out here and pick up my string real quick since I got lights. Dory, got all my string picked up. I need this. Thank you. Ooh, look at all the frost. Shut this gate. Guys, back to the dark. Jackie, come on. Cora's awake. Hey, Jackie. Hey, girl. You should out the camera. You better. You, it's a good thing you got long hair. It's chilly. All right. So, got the skid steer put up. Hey, out. How 35 North. Here we go. Marissa will come here and take care of Cora. Chickens. Jackie. Cat. Charlie. All of the critters. All right, guys. See you in Kansas. Well, hey, guys. I finally made it to a snowy northeast Kansas. Guys, we're at the Triple C Hydrobed Company up here in Sabetha, Kansas. It's a beautiful drive. It's cold up here. I drove something up here. Been hiding it from you. Got a surprise for you. It's all right here at Hydrobed. A couple of things that are new that's happening today. Hope you guys are excited just as much as I am. Let's go in here and take a look of why the heck I'm in Northeastern Kansas, way up here. And uh, let's go see what uh, is going on inside. Um, this building some big things happen for sure i think it's pretty neat to see that so this one's going to get yeah so i have cleaned to, off after all this happens he, this guy back here he he pulls everything down wire brushes everything gotcha <laughs> Leaving Sabatha, Kansas. I head back to Oklahoma. Miss my girls. Miss the bison. We got a new ride and uh, a new flatbed. So, um, been fun hanging out here, but it is time to get back to Oklahoma. Got work to do. Got some round bells to put out. See you guys there. Well, looky, looky here, guys. Now, isn't that a good view? This makes me kind of feel like a real rancher now. For the first time, I'm like, I kind of feel like a real rancher. I, I don't know <laughs> if that's good or bad. You know, it's taken me five or six years, but I feel like now that I've got a flatbed and I can put two bales of hay on the truck, go and feed the bison. I don't know. I feel, feel pretty good about it. So, <laughs> anyways. Guys, I cannot thank Hydrobed enough for this awesome relationship man those guys were so nice they treated me so well i got to spend a couple days with them walked through their warehouse 
Guys, I can't wait to dive in with you and show you all the features about Hydrabed and what this HB3200 can do and what Hydrabed can bring to you. I still have a lot to learn. And like I just said, it's the first time I've ever had a flatbed. It's the first time I've ever had an arm bed or anything like this. We've been using the skid steer for basically this, but now I can drive my truck, keep my family safe, myself safe, Bruce can be in here with me and we can roll out. Hey, it's kind of hard to do that together in this skid steer, right? It's like climbing into the cockpit of a NASCAR. But here, we can do it all right here. Cannot wait for this to be a part of our entire operation. It's gonna really change the way we do things. And I'm gonna have, Marissa's gonna be able to use it. I'm gonna be able to use it. Kevin can be able to use it. This is gonna be so versatile for us. It's gonna make a big difference on our ranch and our operation. And I just really wanna thank Hydrabed for doing this. So guys, there's a couple of really awesome features. Had a great time up at Hydrabed with the guys. They showed us a behind the scenes look on how they make these awesome beds. I even got to meet the original owner and the very first Hydrabed. We'll tell you more about that uh, because we're gonna be using this a lot and you're gonna see it more and more and I'm gonna show you some awesome features with this. But right now, as you can see, I got two bells. Don't mind this one. As you can see, I've got a lot of learning to do. I didn't quite get it in the middle, but we got it on here and you can haul two bells with this thing. And here's how you do this. Let me show you. There's a couple of awesome features on here that I need to talk to you about, okay? One, it's built in, and we'll dive into more of this, but I wanna show you one of the coolest things is actually the hydro sticks. How you make this all this work is two awesome features that hydro bed offers. So take a look here. We got the hydro sticks right here, built in to the truck. Hey Jackie, come here. And then my favorite part is right here. My favorite part, with the truck running, we can operate everything from right here. So this is the Hydrostix controller right here in the palm of your hand, remote, and then we have the Hydrostix built in to the truck on the dashboard as well. This is gonna be so handy, it's gonna make life so much easier. Let me show you just a little feature of the remote that we can do. I've gotta start the truck first. All right, we're up and going. See, here's uh, system one out of the truck. This would be basically system two with the remote. So you got both of these featured. I'm gonna turn, that's the pump on and turn it off. So if we wanna switch systems, we're gonna take this off. We're gonna switch to the remote and then I'm gonna walk around. So we're up and running here on the Hydrostix remote. Hey girl, look out Jackie. Well, here we go. You guys wanna see something fun? I didn't do a very good job of picking this one up, but here we go. We're gonna turn our pump on. You can hear the engine driven pump. Now we're going to go ahead and set this bell out. We're only gonna roll out one bell today. So we're gonna, hey, are you just interested in this? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. You wait till you see this, Jackie. All right, so here we go. We're gonna bring it down. That bell has seen better days because I destroyed it picking it up. Still got a lot of practice. We'll get better. I'm gonna widen the arms. You can see I, I, it was not set the right way basically. So I had to pick it up and move it so I could grab here on the sides instead of grabbing this way. So that's why that bell looks kind of ugly. Disregard that. But here, all I'd have to do if I wanna get this in a better position, I would have to pull the truck up a little bit and then we would squeeze it again. And so now I'm gonna reset. We're gonna go right back up. And we should be pretty close to center right there. And now we're gonna squeeze just like this. All right, still got our system on. You can hear the pump running, there it goes. So now pump is disabled. Now we can drive off in the pasture. I'm gonna turn this system off too. So if we wanna switch our systems back to go inside the truck, we just push this here and now the operations can go right back in the truck when we control what system we wanna use. 
There's a lot of features that are part of the Hydrostick and we'll dive into those in the future. I don't know a whole lot about them yet. I got some learning to do for sure. But right now we can get this done by using this or the Hydrostick's inside the truck. All right, so Marissa and I, we're gonna actually pull in the pasture. Marissa's got the gate for me. We're gonna go ahead and roll out a bale of hay to the Big Joe herd. Marissa's gonna hop in with us. Mr. Haas, he's coming to get some hay. Hey, buddy. Peach is coming to see you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Morning. Hello, hello. There's the latest red now. Hey, little heifer. She's up here, Marissa. What? Heifer? Close Mom's carefully watching. Hey, girl. What are you doing? Oh, you got a taste of the tires. <laughs> That's awesome. He's choking back there. Christy. Do it. He's in the remote. We're gonna sell our, set our bell down before the bison get to us. They're coming. All right, Palm Sun system is on. Let's go ahead and go. So Marissa already cut the wrap. there here's how we're gonna do this turn the pump off we still got our system on I'm gonna take the wrap off for the bison get here so we already got a wrap off first did a good job did a great job and here comes the herd wraps gonna go over there here they all come He's always first. Here, Peaches. 
All right, so now we've got a space under here because we're able to pull off the wrap. Okay, hon, go ahead. You start the truck. Uh, so we're back up here. I'm gonna turn my system on. And then now we're gonna go ahead and set it down. So now we're completely down. Sometimes this happens a little bit. It's okay, no big deal. There's all of the goodness right here. Look how powerful this is. Here's your hydraulic cylinder. There's our hoses to our, built in our main frame. All right here, heavy duty equipment, grease inserts, everything's right here. All right, so now let me see if I can, nope, uh, she's blocking my way, not going that way. She's blocking me there, so I'm gonna climb over. <laughs> <clears throat> what we're gonna do now is transfer from oh sorry I didn't mean to scare you we're gonna turn this pump off we're gonna switch systems now we're gonna go here because now I get to set in the vehicle and now we're gonna roll it out this way so here we're just rolling it out in different areas I may be driving in a circle or it doesn't matter, but just trying to get it all spread out so that they don't have to fight over it and they can get, get their hay wherever. That's kind of a base idea, some beginner knowledge of the hydro sticks featured on the hydro bed. Two different ways of running this pump, running the system on this Hodger bed. We cannot wait to use this more and more and learn more about all the features that it provides and all the things that we can actually do. Hey guys, there's more things that we can do with this Hodger bed than you think. It's not just about picking up and rolling out bales of hay. There's a lot of things that we can do with this. Can't wait to show it to you. Can't wait to learn about it. If you have some ideas and things that you can do with a hydro bed and have seen, please let us know. We'd love to get your feedback on it and some things that you can do. I know you can move tubs. I've heard people be picking up four wheelers. We don't even have a fuller, but um, there's a lot of things that we can do with this and we're so excited that you can do it all by sitting in the cab or by standing outside with the remote. It's pretty exciting. And uh, I just wanna thank hydro bed for giving Marissa and Brooks and I this opportunity to work together and have an awesome relationship and use some really great equipment to make our life easier so that we can take care of these awesome animals and take care of the land as well. Got a link here in the description. You guys can take a look at it. I'll drive you straight to their website. Visit www.hydrobeds.com or call 1-800-530-5624 to find the Hydrobed dealer near you and tell them Dusty sent you. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you guys soon.